Hey guys, welcome back to Gunrunners. I'm Joey. Today we're going to be shooting the RBCD 9mm round out of the Ruger P89DC. Um, this is going to be our first official ballistics gel video. We've had a few in the past, but we were just getting our feet wet, and now we feel comfortable doing an actual review. Let's get to it. Our standoff distance is about 5 feet. Our shot placement is a little bit left, but uh, good on the hike. Let's check that out. Okay guys, here's our RBCD9 against the ballistics shell. Our shot placement was a little bit left like I first thought. Uh, upon entering within about two inches, a lot of energy was expended in the casing ripping off of the round. The rest of the round traveled all the way through the block and exited out the back. Uh, we're gonna take this back to our house and we're gonna do a more in-depth review. Here's a closer look at the RBCD 9mm total fragmenting soft point. It's got a 60 grain projectile which is a lead core covered in a jacket. The purpose of the jacket is to deliver explosive expansion and fragmentation inside soft targets such as the human body. Um, that 60 grain projectile allows the advertised velocity of 2,010 feet per second, which is extremely high for a nine millimeter round. Uh, this velocity also allows the round to deliver 539 foot-pounds of energy as advertised. The overall cartridge length, as measured with this caliper, is roughly 1.11 inches. All right, what we're looking at here is the ballistics gel from the top. So keep in mind that this direction is going to be left and this direction is gonna be right. Anyway, getting right into it. At the 1.8 inch mark, and that distance was confirmed by a caliper, we see total jacket separation and fragmentation. This is exactly what I expected from a total fragmenting soft point such as this round. Uh, we have six major jacket pieces left over in the ballistics gel, and I'm assuming that expended a lot of the 539 foot-pounds of energy that is advertised by RBCD. I expect to see a pretty decent temporary stretch cavity in the slow-mo, but we're going to have to check that later on. Anyway, at the 1.8 inch mark after that separation, the majority of the round, that little lead slug, continued through the gel to the 10 inch mark roughly, making three full rotations as it went. At the 10 inch mark, we see something kind of odd. For some reason, the lead slug decided to go haywire and shoot off out the left side of the block at the 12 inch mark, roughly. Uh, I have a theory that maybe there was a piece of jacket left over, and for some reason, they decided to separate right there. But anyway, we still see a small piece, which I'm assuming is the jacket, continue through and over penetrate at the 16 inch mark. Now, I think this test really puts RBCD ammunition into perspective. They advertise their ammunition as if it's some God sent super ammo and they say it's got seven inch permanent stretch cavities, but we see nothing like that. We see a 2.71 inch stretch cavity here. And although it performed quite well and a lot better than I thought it would, I still don't think it's as good as they advertise. I expected to see a lot of under penetration and a lot of crazy expansion in the beginning, but it seems like it's a pretty good medium between fragmentation, expansion in the front, and uh, penetration here. Overall, I think it's a pretty good defensive round, but I'd like to see it shot out of a shorter barrel. That was brought up by one of our viewers, and I think it's a totally valid point. If most people are carrying smaller barreled weapons for CCW, you might not want to use this ammunition because it gets its power from its velocity, and if you have that shorter barrel, it'll probably kill a lot of its velocity. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any uh, comments or any concerns, anything you think we missed in here or you'd like to see, please let us know. We always like to thrive off your guys' comments and try to improve. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day.